Uh, good evening, collectors. This is Joel. Um, what I got here are more of my Chevy collection. Uh, this is Camaros. Here we have Corvettes. Some 57 Chevys. Ran out of room in another case. See how many Corvettes they had. I have a ton. Had to double them up. And some overflow of my Chevelles. Um, this is almost all of my Chevy collection, with the exception of maybe another case or so uh, with Chevy trucks. So, <clears throat> in light of the fact that it's Hot Wheels' 50th anniversary this year in 2018, and the 50th anniversary of the Camaro. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, set up my camera so it doesn't do this anymore. Because uh, I'm using a phone camera, not a uh, tripod camera. Um, so in light of it, I thought that I would go over the Camaro styles that they had over the year. Um, I'll try to make this not terribly long instead of going over each and every car. But maybe, you know, the body styles. Um, so this here is I believe this is the 67 Camaro okay this is Still got an opening hood, well, at least on this one. I believe that's a metal base. Right, so we have this one. Again, I apologize. Keep hitting the camera. So I got something to block the front. So we have the, this one, if I have to find a favorite of some of the ones that I have, I will have to say it's this one. Um, I think this one was originally out of a five pack and it was exclusive to that five pack. So, and I like the original style wheels because that's what I grew up with, even though it's a black wheel. This one definitely has a metal base. Not too many uh, opening hoods nowadays on Hot Wheels. Okay, especially when they're metal. And this is cool too. Uh, the Summit Racing uh, theme. So I enjoy this one as well. The one thing about being a collector when you're an adult is you don't abuse the cars if you buy them new. So you can really appreciate you know 
It's like having a brand new car. I also like this one with the color. And again, 67 Camaro, so it's 50 years old. Oh. Whoops. Okay. Uh, this one here is a color changer. Plastic body. So hot water, cold water, you know, change the color on that. Again, can't lift the hood too far on this, but this is, this is pretty nice. Be honestly, some of these, I don't know what they came out of. I really can't remember. Uh, this one only came out in the last couple years. Uh, this is the 68 Copo Camaro. Copo is uh, acronym for Central Office Production Order. So if a uh, buyer knew what to check off when they went to the, uh, the dealership, um, they could get really a hot car. Um, of course, it cost a pretty penny, so, but you see the Stinger hood. Okay, so it's also a slightly bigger casting because I don't think the actual car was bigger than the original 67. Here we go back to a 67. And some people are afraid to lift the hood. I'm only afraid to lift it if it's uh, going to break. I don't want to see that happen, but uh, this one's an okay piece. And I kind of like this one with the real riders. And again, this one here is a 67 compared to the Copo. Take a look at the, uh, the grills, if you can see the grill. Big, big difference. Not so much of a difference in the tail. Camaro convertible. Sixty-seven Camaro. Again, this one I like. This one's got some value. How much I don't know. Um, I think I bought this off eBay within the last ten years. I'm fairly sure I brought this off. I used to have this in a case. Okay. Um, don't remember. Oops. Here's another color changer. So we've got two color changers. Both the same. 67s. It's one with a cool red, white, and blue theme. Obviously not a 67. It's an 80s. Uh, what did they call this one? They called this Camaro Z28 with the copyright date of 1982. Uh, but this one didn't come out in 82. This one came out probably in the early 2000s. Uh, I can't remember exactly what year. Another one, Camaro Z28. These, though, don't have opening hoods. I think this might have been a series car, but I can't remember what series. And I don't remember the year. Another color changer. So that's three color changers. These are pretty good. 
I think out of the color changers, I like this one the best. Kind of a, a metal flake paint when you're looking at it right now. This is kind of a flat, dull, yellowish orange. And this color changer is sort of like a, a pale green. So I don't know if you could tell, but I think the heat from pushing my thumb on there kind of changes this a little bit. tell from that it did slightly a little bit here's a modern Camaro this one uh, well guys I'm sorry I don't know which one this is what year it's obviously from the last five years six years Maybe somebody could uh, leave a comment and let me know what year this is. I Honestly, I don't remember. It's not on the base. Uh, the copyright date is 2012, so it's at least a... It's not any later than a 2012 car. <clears throat> Here are some mail-in premiums. This one was from Cheerios. take it out of the bag yet. These were a couple recent acquisitions. Um, Hot Ones wheels. Um, I don't remember if I got this from a friend of mine or if I bought this at the club meeting. However, I did recently get this off eBay, a Getty Camaro, which is pretty cool. I like the gas station stuff with the Hot Ones wheels. Here's another good one. This came out in the Car Culture series. Um, it was the only car culture left on the shelf at Target, and the blister had a crack in it, and the car was like halfway out, so all the other ones were gone. So I think that the uh, there was probably a, a collector or a scalper in the store buying them, and because it was a damaged package, he didn't pick this up, so I figured, well, I'll pay the money, and I'll take it out of the package, because eventually I'll find one in. So... I'm sure I had the uh, one in the package someplace, but this was the car culture one that came out. Sixty-eight Copa Camaro car culture. All right. Um. Sorry, I keep talking. Uh, I don't remember what this. Came from sometimes I think it says Hot Wheels. I don't remember. It's got a metal base. I don't remember how where these were sold or how. I don't remember if it was a mail in, maybe mail in or what. Uh, this one here came out in the last few years. This is a chrome plastic base. So shiny underneath this light. It's a 70 Camaro. Okay. And I like it with the Hot Wheels Deco. It's probably from the Hot Wheels line. And I ended up with two of these, so. This one was a series car. Unfortunately, I don't remember the series. I think it came out in the late 90s. And 
So this is an 80s Camaro, which I kind of remember because this was from when I was in high school and college. Here's a more modern take on an 80s Camaro. When I say modern, it's a more recent make. This is actually uh, copyright 2011. And it's an 85 Camaro. Boy, that's really hard for me to read. I need new glasses and I'm still waiting for them to come in. 85 Camaro IROC Z. Two of these. Metal base. Camaro on the hood. Late 70s. Don't remember what they're from. Color changer. Plastic. Or maybe is this a color changer? Maybe I don't think so. Don't know how I acquired this. The metal metal body plastic base. But it has a copyright date of 1982, so this is a design that's been around quite a while. This one's really cool. This is a flip out. You're supposed to be able to take this bar underneath. Uh, if I can do it. Anyway, I can't get the bar over, but it's sealed window, so there's no interior. Metal base. Oh, maybe that's it. The pin. Nah, I can't get it. Because I bought this loose, so I don't have the instructions for it. But that's a flip out, so the base is completely different. And this is from late 80s, early 90s. This one, same body style as the last one. Same body style. No windows, plastic base. See the difference in the, in the bases? This is another color changer, and you can see it's changing color while I'm just handling it. Um, these came in two packs. Um, probably from the mid to late 80s. I'm sorry, mid, mid to late 90s. I have um, four color changers from this period. Got Hot Wheels Fire Department. Uh, I will call this an A and B scheme. These came out the same year. Just different alternate paint schemes. You know, they put out two different colors of the same car in the same year. That's basically all this is. Um, so this one is a G03. So whatever your G is. 2017 was K, and this one here is G10. So one came out the third week, the other one, this one came out the tenth week, the red one. Uh, the frame one's pretty cool. That one right there, the frame. Um, Got some more convertibles. I'm not going to open these up. <clears throat> this 
Так. Uh, this came out a couple years ago. This is the J21. This came out 2016. And this is a Camaro, 70 Camaro RS. Uh, I like the body. The color's good. The wheels are okay. And this one says Hutch Kiss on the side. Sixty-nine Camaro Hotchkiss. Here we got Hot Wheels PD. Again, sort of like an A and B scheme. These came out the same year. Same type of tampo, just alternate or different colors. This one has a white interior to extend it to the uh, push bar. This one has a gray interior that's extended to the push bar. J23, so they came out in 2016. And this is J10, so this one, black one was the first one, the blue one was the second one. Came out about 13 weeks apart. And this is kind of cool. It's a Camaro, tuned Camaro. So this is sort of like Hot Wheels version of Muscle Machines. And this is copyright 2009, 69 Camaro Z28, tuned edition. So this one I do like. I like the big blown engines. Uh, I'm just going to do the Camaros in this case. I'm not going to go over the other cars, but you can kind of see I got a couple trucks in here. Um, Corvette. Uh, I just ran out of space in some other uh, jammers cases. Okay. And when I had showed to my Chevy 57 Chevy video, I had um, one of these in there with the 57 Chevy body style. Um, These these sort of like wind up. You let them go, and it had a wing. However, the wing is obviously gone, the top part. But this still works. Okay, but they were fragile anyway. I really don't think this is my complete Camaro collection. I'm sure I got others in other places, but this is sort of like a classic color for the Camaro um, with the orange stripes and the white, like what they did with the Indy 500 cars when they paced the Indy 500 to replica cars from the late 60s. I think that's an homage to that paint scheme. Two of these color changers, same ones. No, 
another 67 Camaro. And this was B29, so whatever your B is. Opening hood, but I don't want to break it. It's not opening too far. Slide this down, maybe that'll help. I apologize if I'm not getting everything in the camera. <clears throat> Same thing with this, sort of like an homage to the uh, D&D Pace cars with the color scheme. Where did I just put that other one? Here we go. Slightly different color, instead of orange, more of a yellow. So, that's what we got there. More 67s with flame, a little bit of flame. Hot Wheels Racing. So metal, I believe. This one's metal. It's metal. This is a nice color. It's like a 70s style custom paint scheme. And this is the 70 Camaro Z28. Okay. These two, they came out in the last couple years. Like I said, to consider it like an, um, a first release and an alternate color release. So on, uh, this is the 10 Camaro SS. Just a plain color with this burnt uh, root beer or orange color. And just having these together in the thing here, this looks like the same color. Convertible, except this one has stripes. Looks like the same color. And the convertible is just says Camaro Convertible Concept. Front grills are a little bit different because it's a more pronounced Chevy emblem right here. The front grill. And it doesn't appear that the convertible has one. And there's a slight difference in the tail with the lights. Try that and see if that helps. Convertible has a gas tank up here. Which is different than the hard top coupe, which has the gas tank on the right rear quarter panel. In between the bumper and the tire. Another Summit Racing 2. And I think this was a series car, but I can't remember. What series? And a 10 Camaro SS. So that's it. for the Camaros. 
So, again, apologize for the quality of the video. I just don't have, you know, um, capability to set this up um, professionally. So, you know, bear with me. I'm trying to do the best I can. But if you have any suggestions or comments, uh, please let me know in the space below. And uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And please subscribe. Thank you very much. You all have a good evening.